Sunrise Interviews is brought to you by Valley Strong Credit Union. Welcome back. As we continue to follow the economic impact of the coronavirus, it continues to be grim news. And joining us this morning is Dave Anderson, a financial advisor and managing partner at MoneyWise. Uh, Dave, thanks so much for joining us this morning. You bet, absolutely, Alex. A lot of news. I mean, a lot of developments over just the last 48 hours. Let's talk about what, uh, why today is significant. Uh, at the end of the day, the $600 a week uh, unemployment benefits that a lot of people were receiving is set to expire today, and there's no plan uh, to to renew that. You know, Washington is still working on a plan uh, to see what they want uh, to do to continue that or at least modify it. But let's just talk about the the impact of that. What does this mean? Can considering that we continue to see unemployment numbers just spike uh, across the country. What does this mean when you take away $600 a week from those people who are relying on that? Yeah, it's a big deal. So we had some economic numbers come out showing that uh, GDP shrunk by over 32%, it's the worst ever. And then we have, as you explained, that $600 going away and with no real plan right now of additional stimulus. So what that means to us is expect to see some economic turmoil. I mean, we've never seen GDP contract this much ever. I mean, it's worse than it was during the Great Depression. So this $600 going away is going to be a big deal. Let's talk about GDP. For all of those people that uh, were falling asleep in economics class and college <laughs> and uh, forgetting exactly what does GDP mean, uh, why is what we're seeing, we saw a record-breaking day when it comes to how uh, the economy shrank uh, nearly 33%. What does that mean for us here uh, in America and, and the significance of it? Yeah, you bet. So GDP is basically all of the goods and services that the U.S. produces and, and sells. So it's a really good indication of the strength of our economy. Now, you see uh, GDP go up and then you see it contract. So it's not that rare that it contracts. It's the amount that it contracted. So on an annual annualized basis, as you said, close to 33%. The, the second closest is you have to go all the way back to 1921 to get wow. that close, but it still beats that number. So what that shows us is that we have an economy that rather than, than getting bigger is starting to get a little bit smaller. We have consumers that are really being stretched. We saw consumer spending, which was up a little bit, but that was due primarily to the stimulus that we got, which is going away now. So this is really, really nerve wracking for people who are concerned about the economy, yeah. people who are concerned about the stock market, it's a big deal. So when we talk about the economy, when we talk about how this was, you know, how the U.S. economy shrank significantly, uh, how long is it going to take for us to get back to where we were? I mean, remember, at the beginning of this year, the economy was was incredible uh, by by many standards. Now we're at this place. Uh, how long is it going to take for us to get back on the other end of this? Yeah, I think it's going to be a while, especially looking at Congress right now, you know, really unable to come to any sort of agreement on what, what they're going to do for consumers. So if there continues to be this stalemate in Washington, I think the downturn and the slowdown is going to last a lot longer. Now, if they can put their heads together and come up with some, with some sort of deal, I think it will be better for us. But I just don't think this is anything that's going to overnight turn around because you have supply chains that are being disrupted, businesses that are now going under. So even if the virus were to disappear, the scars on the economy are very, very apparent. What do you think needs to happen in order for the economy to make this this turnaround? I mean, is it gonna take a is it gonna take a vaccine? Is it gonna take um, some sort of just letting this run its course? What what do you think? Yeah, well, I think a vaccine would be really, really great. And, and from an economic perspective, more stimulus. Now, I know that's really hard to hear because we hate seeing the government spend all this money with debt. We already have a ton in debt. But really, at this stage, we have no choice. So I hope they can put politics aside to some degree and offer some sort of stimulus, put cash into the hands of businesses that are really struggling, and then also of, of employees who just don't have any work right right now. All right, Dave Anderson with MoneyWise. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Really appreciate it. A lot of you things to break down and I know it's changing every single day. So we really appreciate you taking the time to talk with us this morning. Yeah, absolutely. No problem. All right, take care. All right.